Hi Bruce from Safari and uh, one last look at the Victron integration in this van, something that uh, uh, is quite unusual to see and that is, so right now we've got two watts of solar coming in here, we've got 148 volts off the roof and we've got a multi RS on this and integrating a multi RS is quite difficult to do. I touch the inverter here, I can now turn it um, off on here and just heard the little click and the screen will go off down there and then I can turn it on and the off is backlit there. I can turn it back on. You just hear the little relay click. I can change the input current limit up here, 16 amps. And if I get active input here, uh, this will uh, light up. Yes, that we've got an active AC input so you can see the output voltage is now down here. And if I go to charger only down here, that's turned off then the AC out voltage will start to drop away. There it is, one and a half volts, and I turn it back on again. So you can either press that little triangle and it turns on up here, and hey presto, um, this voltage is now gonna come back up to 240 volts. So we've got every Victron um, item integrated in here, and even on the solar, we can read the maximum charge in uh, watt hours today. So we did uh, uh, quite a lot of uh, watt hours here today that came in and we've got a yield in kilowatt hours and we've got the PV voltage. So it's all coming up into the display here. Also the temperatures on uh, the Ruby come in through the Victron and out of the Victron up into our display. The one thing that's interesting here is the batteries are on CAN and we're reading those independently. So if the Victron side or if the communication goes down, we always, always can read the battery voltage and the state of charge percent. We read that directly from the CAN bus batteries uh, that's coming in here. And I've got to say, how good's that?